You're watching the Being Human Diaries, and we're behind the scenes of episode five, where a very unusual house guest is causing a little bit of havoc. This will help with your dehydration. Aiden, uh, mm. what's happening today? Herrick shows up in the house, uh, freaks Mitchell out, and Mitchell tries to to stake him, to kill him. So I've been chasing him around the house all day with a stake. It's been a lot of fun. Quite a tiring day for you, isn't it? Yeah, I'm knackered. And I feel guilty for being knackered because, you know, we only did it about four times and I was sweating. I mean, this is in bits here. I heard Sinead Keenan was around here somewhere. Let's just have a... How does Nina feel about having Herrick in the house? Nina doesn't have the reaction that everyone else does. So basically, she's in nursing mode trying to help but protect him, nurse him. She's not sure whether he's having people on, so in her role as a nurse, in her duty as a nurse, it's a duty of care. The challenge for me is that um, to not really play Herrick, but sort of play Herrick, because he's so changed, and he is genuinely changed. Um, he doesn't know who he is. He's back in you know the late 19th century when he himself became a vampire. So he's kind of still in that world, still in sort of Victorian world, and doesn't quite know what's going on. And hopefully that the, through the episode, people are thinking, is it? He knows what's going on, and that is the real Harry. He's not. He's putting this on, you know. So that's my job is to, to hopefully to play with the audience. How does Mitchell feel about Herrick? When he sees him, he's completely dumbfounded about how he's managed to survive, um, what he survived, um, and then the conditions he's in, and why he's at the house, and who's brought him back, and he's just sort of, um, he's taken aback by the whole situation, so, I mean, he just wants to kill him and get him out of the way, because this is easier that way, I guess. I mean, that's Mitchell's way, if something sort of becomes an issue, charmingly kill that person and, and deal with that issue and that problem. Also, in this episode, Herrick very cleverly perhaps has found this album and gone hmm that girl doesn't know about him and his past and the cuttings the paper the pictures it's harrowing um, the box stole 20 so as far as she's concerned he's the murderous villain within her as a person the mothering instinct is coming out you know she's she's protective of her child she's protective of Herrick she's she's very much in charge of her nest now and she won't have any nonsense what effect will it have having Herrick live in the house with the characters? Inevitably, he's going to set everyone on edge, uh, even though he himself, and my job is to keep him completely innocent. He doesn't really know, he doesn't know he's Herrick, but he just knows that he can maybe tap away at somebody and just see how they take him. That'll take him somewhere else, and that might help him to find out what the hell he's doing here, you know, because he doesn't know, he's got no idea. You, George, and the baby. Eric will annihilate you. Oh, you're doing this for us. How selfless. Do you think I'm enjoying this? I think there's a poison in you which has nothing to do with being a vampire, so yeah, I think you do enjoy it. In the first series, there is a scene with Nina and Mitchell, and she alludes to the fact that he's not her type, not anymore. So even from that, She's been a bit, I don't trust people like you. As far as she's concerned, Mitchell sometimes has George wrapped around his little finger and he, George, very quickly agrees to stake Herrick. And she's like, this guy, what? You've agreed to murder in a heartbeat. What? I mean, there's always been a funny relationship between Mitchell and Nina. I think Mitchell has always sort of feared Nina because she was the human who came into this household and sort of robbed George a little bit and, and stole some of that sort of... Uh, loyalty that I guess Mitchell felt was for him. I think Mitchell thinks that she could be the one that's probably going to kill him or something. Maybe it is going to be her, I don't know. I hope it is, that'd be interesting. I could take her out! What happens next is, after Nina has dobbed Mitchell in, Sinead gets lots of hate mail from um, the bloggers and the Twitterers who love Aiden. Can I just say, I don't write it. And uh, just, just, just let the series ride out. Who knows what will happen, but that's all I know.